Hi guys, it's Yves here. So today I'm here with another uh, Descended Death Profile. This time I'll be covering the upgraded version of uh, Astro Unica. So finally, we get some kind of what we can consider a decent support for this tag and the changes given is actually quite big and I'm actually happy to see that happen. Uh, so without further ado, let's go into the deck profile. Uh, the right line, I'm still using the uh, Elmagister right line which is Barter, Diner for whatever we need to do. Uh, nothing too much to say about the right line. You just hope for the best, uh, getting some uh, good soul charge and get to recycle triggers. And then of course, we still have our Bico Mars, uh, Unica, and then our Mars Order Package. Uh, for Unica, you don't need to press the right with this card anymore. If you see it, you can just ditch it, put it in so and so blast it, whatever you need. Uh, mask, if somehow it gets to your hand, you can just use it. If not, just ditch it, N nothing worries. And Bicycle Mask is something that you always want to keep in your hand so you can just keep using. And then because you have so many bullets to use, you have four times to use the bullets, so uh, that should be enough. And then we are using the order card and we just set a spear so you can only use it when your vanguard is as straw so basically you spray free and then you uh, counter charge one two spree triggers from the draw put them into your soul you have a straw in its card name once we remove this turn then choose one of your vanguard it gets one crit until end of turn so uh, because one weak point with this deck is that when you go for bicycle mask you don't get the crit and this card is just basically helping you out to do that while you uh, still gain one drive and do four attacks a turn so this order is actually very important for this deck to make it a lot more harder to beat and then we have our Griffon to pick up our triggers uh, and then extra shield value uh, extra little power up so that you can hit numbers uh, and then I am still running the Opera Star. Uh, she is kind of okay because she can boost power, but then I might not be using the Calabas one to draw one card so that I can save the Calabas from something else. Uh, I am still looking for uh, the little promo golem. I do have some. I don't have four yet, but if I have four, then I will start replacing some of these. Uh, but for now, she get her spot because I still actually need some way to to do the work. And then uh, free of the new card, Kimara. Uh, so this, what is placed on Vanguard Circle? If you have a uh, Vanguard with L adjustment, L register, this card name, this card, card from your hand. Look okay, at top two cards. Choose one card among them, put it in your hand, and put the rest on the top of the deck or so. And this you get plus five k until your turn. So, uh, in the past, when we are looking for cards to go into the soul, so that we can soul blast enough to activate the skill and maybe hoping it is a crit, we uh, do need to do a lot of blind soul charge or need to rely on this when you have a lot of triggers used, which will benefit you a lot of times. But this, at least you ditch your card, you get a card back, and then you if it is a trigger, you can put it on top. If it is not a trigger, if it is like that, you can just put it in soul, right? So, uh, and you also get uh, plus 5k. So, all these grade twos can pump themselves up to at least get to hit something. So, I think it's very important. That's why the lineup is like that. Uh, but if I am cutting her, I will definitely be increasing uh, the Chimera, Chimera a lot more. And then uh, three marble because we soul blast in once, one time for a lot. So definitely have a good chance to reveal the top card of the deck. And this deck to rely on that to win. Uh, even though you drive check a lot, if you 
keep hitting blanks is still not going to be a good stuff, right? So at least you have some chances to dodge that. I think is important. And then, as I said, I do have the uh, prospector, which I only unfortunately have two copies, which I'm going to probably to four. When I do, then I will cut two of these to that, and then one of these to this probably. That's for the current plan. And yeah, so far probably that. Unless I do want to cut something else, but so far I don't plan to. But let's get back to uh, Prospector. Uh, at the end of the battle, this unit attack the boost. If your Vanguard is Elemagister or Evil Eye in this card name, put this in soul, look at top 7, choose a great free card among them, reveal them after your hand and chopper your deck. And Guardian Circle, if you're buying something at 2 or more trigger units, this unit will get plus 10k shield. So, not only that you can search your great free that you need, no matter is uh, to ditch it or just prepare for the personal writing is definitely great because mass order don't always get you uh, the stuff that you need especially when we are not using any uh, dragon tree wretch right and at the same time it just say choose up to one great free card among them right so the mask can also be searched which helps you and then this is a card that I was mentioning in my Black Mar deck profile and then didn't get to talk about her fully, which is uh, Bifrance. So Bifrance allows you to kind of blast one block with top three cards, put one to hand, put one to soul, put one to drop. And the most ideal situation is you look at top three, you put this into your hand, you put this into uh, your soul, you put this into the drop, right? But if you see something else, then depending on what happens, right? Uh, but she has the potential. And last time I didn't talk about her second skill, and now is the chance. Once per turn, we got circle if you have a Vanguard with L Magister in his card name, soul blast 1 and energy blast 3. So this is how you use your energy. Search your deck for up to one card with Astoria, Astora in his card name or up to one critical put it into your soul and shuffle your deck. If you put a card into your soul, choose up to one card with a different card name from this unit and grade less than or equal to your Vanguard from the drop and you recall it to a regard circle. Now why is this important? One, it if you like me never get a chance to soul charge a single crit of like only meeting your 8 crits in your deck until you are very very late game this directly search you a crit so at least you have a crit to do it. and if you have two of uh, bifronts you get two crits so you can at least do your stuff which is very important compared to people with a very bad luck like me it is a saver and if you already have enough crits and you are trying to use your uh, Bicon Mask to actually do some aggressive play and then you can't find any single copy, now you can get it, right? Also, you get to uh, call something from your drop zone onto the board. So it can be something that you already use for defense, it can be uh, something that allows you to uh, look at more cards, get more power-ups, it can be uh, this so that you get to search again because somehow you use it uh, as an extra shield value because you want to survive. Or when this just get popped because your opponent see it annoying, you can bring it back. So this card is really a saver and this is also a saver. These two really save the deck by a lot and in the past even though we are starting the switching to use uh, the mass unit a lot more people still like to use uh, the original one uh, but now with these kind of searches I think Bicon Mars is actually getting a better chance to fight in a competitive scene not that it um, 
she can 100% guarantee top. That's nothing, <laughs> nothing can do that. But I think compared to different stages of this deck, I think now is the moment where she actually get to shine and actually get to do something that she are uh, she were supposed to do. Yeah. And PGs, I'm using the normal PGs. If you want to use the fist order, feel free to use it. Uh, but to me, I don't have much personal preference on this. It's up to you. Triggers, I'm using the uh, Dark States one because, like, I am only looking at when I can pull it off. This can basically give me the most benefit, if you ask me, uh, because. This can give me crit, right? And if I can gain an, another crit, then usually that can win games. So I just go for a simple play. If you want to uh, use the water elemental to pick up cards, you can. If you want to use the fire elemental because you have one re stand that you can just swing for two more times, you can. Uh, but when I'm comparing the OTs that I can use, I think this is a better choice. And then, uh, we found it out, more crits is definitely needed. Yeah, more crits is important. Uh, if you want to use a soaring crit, you can. Uh, to me, I don't care that much because I don't get to reuse them so much. Right? So, it's up to you. If you want to use a soaring crit, you can. If you want to keep it cheap, you can just do it this way. And then, uh, three fronts. Because we can just attack with one and then use the Vanguard to withstand that one and then all the front triggers if I can apply to every single front unit that stays standing, which is very very great. And then uh four normal heals just because the game won't last very very long. But if you want to be like tactical and prepare some effect kills, you can. Uh, yeah, nothing too much to say about the trigger lineups is more personal preference I guess but I don't suggest draw because you still kind of do a lot of searches you have quite a lot of soul charging things uh, you do get quite a few draws you gain drives so so far I think that should be enough for you to just get enough resources to keep playing yeah, so uh, I started liking this deck very much when you first, first release. Uh, get kind of depressing when I don't see a single crit. To seeing a mass unit and like the mass unit more because I don't see myself getting a lot of crit always, and at least I can just find two crits and call it a day with the mass unit. And then she uh, didn't get enough. Decent support, I would say, and then now she get better support, so I'm happy. Uh, I hope you, as a Unica fan, Bicomas fan, are happy with the results of the support. Uh, we get a promo as well, so probably in the near future, near future, we won't get uh, so much support. Uh, I do hope she get more. She definitely deserves a lot more loves. Uh, no matter is more ways to find crits from your deck directly go into the soul, uh, or at least a simple way to find a crit and bind it so that you get the count. Anything like that, right? Hopefully she gets more support, and then we can just be all be happy. Yeah. So I think that's it for this deck profile. Uh, so subscribe to the channel for more different deck profiles, deck fights, unboxing videos. Comment down below if you uh, like this deck. If there are other cards that you're using, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. And I think that's it for me today. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Signing off.